happy, um, what is today? Look, I don't even know. This life is so busy right now and so crazy. Um, and it's the summer, so I really just have no idea. I think it's Tuesday. You think pretzel's thirsty? Mm -hmm. Your fish? Mm -hmm. You think your fish is thirsty? Mm -hmm. You might be. You might be. I guess he's already thirsty already. Yeah, the fish might be thirsty. So, um, you guys, we have just been trying to keep up with everything. We've got some mystery, like, viral fever thing going around. And so, um, the girls have kind of taken turns not feeling great. And it really hasn't been bad because I feel like who started? with it it might have been tyler but like by the morning she was fine there's no real symptoms or anything they just like got a little fever and then it's passed yeah it did start with tyler so she was not feeling good she was saying her neck really hurt and we thought maybe she just kind of had a, some muscle aches or whatever i put some peppermint on to soothe her muscles i put some oregano with these to support her immune system um, on the bottom of her feet and then she was fine in the morning so i'm not sure what it was was next i think adeline maybe but adeline's also cutting her eye teeth <laughs> so she's been miserable and not sleeping not miserable and not sleeping like she's up at night but not miserable she just doesn't want to be left alone and then you can sleep mm -hmm. uh, then you can stay up on the door. no i didn't do that uh. anyway so adeline is cutting those teeth and that's making her her not sleeping is making her miserable. But she's napping now, I just left her um, and I said, you are taking a nap today, girl, because she needed it, she's so grumpy. And then now, Judy, we I made cinnamon rolls and I'm eating mine. I have Judy next to me and she had her half a cinnamon roll and she wasn't touching it. And I said, buddy, what's going on? You don't feel good? And she does, she feels all warm. Look at her, you're not feeling good? No. So we're gonna oil this baby up and just support her little body with some oils. She's got her Ningxia Red. You want to drink this? Yeah. She's got a packet of Ningxia Red to um, just support her immune system and get her feeling like herself again. If we, if we step two, I'm going to the wall. I'm going to the wall. Oh, you're, no, you're okay. What? I see. For, oh, wow. Whoa, cool. You want to show everybody? Just show them what you found. Hold it back further, like right here. <sighs> Whoa, you guys, look at that crazy leaf. Does that mean fall is coming? I think so, because it's got um, green, yellow, brown, black, and yellow green. Wow. So does that mean fall is coming? It might mean that. I saw some trees with some red leaves. Um, also, you love Francis out there. You guys, Francis is officially home. Tyler has been taking him for a walk around the yard, but she left him up on that picnic table. Anyway, so Francis is back. Um, things are in full force here at the Murray house. We've got little Everly. She's talking to you guys. She's like, Mom, I want to say hi to my family. Say hi, YouTube family. Mom, I watched this out Good job. Okay, can you shut the door? Hi. What are you doing, Francis? Do you think that baby's for you to sit on? You think that baby's there for you to sit on? Anyway, I'm pretty sure he's already missing, Graham. Um, yum, yum, yum. I'm sure that he loved the quiet over there. Anyway, so John's at work. I'm just hanging out with the kids today. Um, probably sending some emails and doing some some things, but we're just kind of taking it easy. It was raining earlier, and so it's all muddy outside. Drink go, your go red. You want to go rest? Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. All right, drink that juice and then you can go rest, okay? okay. Drink mm. just a little bit. Oh. You what? I'm gonna Here. Ready? Look at this girl. She looks like something straight out of the 70s. Ready? Wait mm. for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Say ta da! They're on the wrong feet, but they're cute. You look like you're from the 70s. Like you could be Nano when Nano is a teenager. She does kind of look like a teenager. Isn't that crazy? I feel like our kids are growing up. Before your eyes, before our own eyes. Why are you 10? You do look like you're 10. Yeah, they look so grown up lately. It's kind of wild. Anyway, 
Poor Jude, I think she fell asleep on the couch. Adeline's still sleeping. Now Everly and Francis are snuggling. So I know Francis is loving his snuggle time. I'm kind of bored, you guys. I have stuff I need to do, but I just feel like, I don't know. I wish John was home, you know, like not, I, he has stuff to do, so he needs to be gone, but I just like, wish he was home and we didn't have anything to do so that we could just spend time together. I feel like it's been a while since we've like been on a date or had an intentional time, just the two of us. He did go to the movies last night with his guy friends though, man date, but he need that too. So anyway, how are you guys doing? We have some ideas. I have a parody idea. I just have to find the time to do it. Maybe I should work on that now. I think you guys would like it. Anyway, so, um, yeah, really there's not much going on. We still, <laughs> I think we may have decided to send Tyler to a public school. Um, there's one close by that is like rated like a 10 out of 10. It's very highly rated school. Um, you know, and I realized that this year it's kindergarten. It's still going to be laid back. Like, I don't necessarily think she has to hit the academics so hard. I think it's great. I would love for her to learn, and she loves to learn. You know, they teach Spanish in kindergarten at the public or at the private school, and they have all these things, and they're really like, they're really focused on gearing kids up for college. And I think that's great, but I also think I didn't go to college, and John didn't go to college. And not that we think there's anything wrong with college, but um, I don't really necessarily think you have to be preparing for college in kindergarten. Um, I guess it's good if you want to do that. I don't know. I just feel like I want her to be a kid as long as she can be. And while it's still acceptable for her to have so much energy and be her goofy, wild self, um, I want her to be able to. So I'm thinking that something a little less academic heavy, at least until she's seven, um, would be better for her. So that's where my head is now. I know, I keep flip-flopping. John's dad is back at work. Thank you guys for praying for him. Um, I think his blood pressure is still, you know, it's still not great. He's not feeling great, but he's feeling better. So we are still praying for him and I am planning to order him some Ningxia Red um, just to help balance out his body and to keep everything running the way it's supposed to. And um, there's also some other oils like lemongrass and um, ylang ylang and lavender that would all be really good for him. So I might order some of those for him um, or help them order them. Oh yeah, if you guys are in the like Raleigh area, I am going to be doing an essential oil class, like just not really like a class class because that's not how I do things. More like a heart class, <laughs> a sharing from the heart, just kind of hanging out at the Ugly Mug um, coffee shop on 1442 in, I guess it's technically Garner. But we will be out that way um, this Friday night at seven o'clock and I'd love to see some of you there. If you are interested at all and you're in this area, come hang out, have some coffee talk about wellness and oils and you know talk about being mom friends whatever um so i want to throw that out there and i am about to call john and see what time he's coming home because i gotta get out of the house or something i'm feeling like i'm in a kind of a slump like not like a depressed slump but just like i just need to go do something so that i can do something in other news, you guys, fall is coming. That is the most exciting thing to me. That is my favorite time of the year when the weather cools down and you can have campfires and go outside and do all kinds of stuff. It's gonna be different with Tyler in school this year, but I think it's gonna make like the weekends and the evenings so much more rewarding and enjoyable. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Can you get a remote real quick? Okay, I'm gonna sit on that couch. Take your temperature. Can you open your mouth? Put it under your tongue. And close your mouth. You do. She's all right. Oh, gosh. Oh, four zero at. How you feel, buddy? Yeah. Oh, let's take off these ones. She ones. feels really, really warm. Yeah, she is really, really warm.
our Judy bug definitely isn't feeling great. No. Are you? No. But we're gonna keep her drinking water, keep her oil in, supporting her body, her immune system, and let it do its job. Actually, Jude gets a fever like that every time she gets any sort of virus or anything. Her temperature spikes really high. But we don't panic because the fever means that her immune system's working. And um, yeah, we just take care of her, give her lots of rest, which she's been napping already, give her lots of fluids, right? Yeah. And give her lots of immune support. So, you gonna take it easy today? Yeah, my poor girl. This is the only time she's ever so still and snuggly. Can we get you a light blanket so you don't get cold? That is one thing. It's important to make sure that kids, when they have a fever, they don't get chills because chills can actually make the temperature rise higher. So it's never a good idea to do a cold bath or a cool bath. You should do like a lukewarm bath um, to cool them down. It's never a good idea to like, you know, you want to dress them in light clothing but not um, so light that they're cold. Ouch. What's the matter? My mouth cold. Oh, the peppermint mm -hmm. is cooling. That'll help bring your temperature down, buddy. Peppermint and lemon down the spine. Hey, open up. Under your tongue. Close your mouth. There you go. Is she gonna pop the bubbles? I can pop them. It's gonna pop the bubbles. Look, Judy. see? That's better. That's better, huh? Let's try one more time just to make sure. Oh, now I can eat that. Yeah, that's better. So that's good. Her temperature's already come down a little bit. Um, and it's only been like five minutes. So. That is a good sign. We're just gonna keep letting her rest. Keep her away from sugar. I'm gonna save her cinnamon roll until she's feeling better. And uh, yeah. oh, I think I'm gonna send these big kids out to the pool because they've been watching some TV since it's been raining. Um, they've been playing with the dog. They've been playing with their own anymore. things, but it's not raining. yeah, it's a little yucky out, but you know, there's our little pool, you guys. Isn't that funny? Hello. <laughs> Anyway, John was supposed to clean up the backyard, but then he never got around to it, and it just looks a mess. Um, so please excuse that, you guys. We're trying to keep it all together. Some things fall to the wayside no matter what. The yard is one of them that's just not on our priority list. Okay, go grab your bathing suit, then bring it in, and go to the bathroom to put it on, okay? And these two are still sleeping. And Tyler just told me that Adeline is awake, so I am gonna run up and check on her. I not check on her, I guess get her out of bed. She's been napping for a while. <gasps> you what? Yeah, your bunny, did you drop that bunny? <laughs> the bunny? <laughs> Cuddling kind, you guys. You want that? Oh, the passy. Yeah. You want me to pick you up? Up. Please. Say please. Up. Up, please. Up. up. Say up, please. All right. Ready? Grab all and tight, little girl. Grab all and tight, little girl. Oh! Ah! She's so heavy. You're so heavy. You want to get down? Okay, we got one kiddo up. You want to come? Sit with Judy Bear. Yeah. I'll help you put it on. All right, Elena needs help getting her bathing suit on, so that's next to my to-do list. And then I gotta make them um, lunch. It's almost two o'clock. And what'd you say? I said I said I was in swim because because I feel better. You're feeling better, so you want to swim too? Mm -hmm. I don't think so, my love. Oh, come on, here. How about you lay down and I get you something to eat, okay? Yeah. Are you sure? You're not hungry? You want some toast? No. Yeah. And some fruit? No. Some water? No. A fruit, a fruit. Okay. All right, hang on one sec. So I just oiled Judy up again and took her temperature and it is down 
to 101.8. So it's definitely cruising down. She's still obviously not feeling quite herself. I think she's a little tired, but you know what? It definitely doesn't hurt that girl to rest and hopefully she'll go to bed well tonight. Um, all of my kids, they, they go at full energy all the time. Um, they don't nap anymore. So I think obviously if you're getting proper rest, you're supporting your body and your body can recuperate from the days. It needs energy to be healthy and for your immune system to work properly. So when they're going, 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 especially through the summer and they're not getting rest, it just weakens their whole, you know, their whole system, their whole body, their whole immune system. So if nothing else, getting sick every once in a while, A, builds up their immune system as their body fights off what they have. Hi! And B, um, it helps them to get rest. Today I'm finding it hard to know what to do with myself. So the girls went outside to play in the pool, at least Tyler and Elena did. And Elena wanted to come in after five minutes because it's chilly. So they're back inside and I... I don't know. I feel weird, you guys. I just feel like kind of off. Not off in a like bad way. I just feel like bored and unmotivated. What do you do? What are your tips when you're feeling unmotivated? Like, how do you get yourself going again? I do have some oils, so I'm probably gonna start something in the diffuser. I have motivation and uh, magnify your purpose and envision. So maybe some of those will help me out. Um, you know, but. Yeah, I'm just feeling kind of funky today. Maybe it's the weather too. It's all rainy and nasty. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind of waiting for John to get back. I think honestly, lack of quality time with him also plays a role because I feel like I miss him. You know, I'm just like, oh, I wish he was home so we could just talk and spend time together. Even though it's not nearly the same as like quality time. This is my current office. Just in case you're wondering, I need to really fix the office. We need a bigger desk so we can both work in there. Um, but I've got all my oily stuff and it's pretty funny. These are like all my oils and yeah, there's a lot of stuff. I've got these cool workout brochures with all kinds of information about using and living for workout. I've got some compensation plan books. I've got some, this book is about how to use your money to bless yeah. others. Yeah, I get by and so I'm excited to read that. I haven't yet. I've got like, I'm so excited as these goodies are coming in. I got these cards to share with people that show all of Young Living's new makeup line. And then I'm super excited about the things that I got for promo for people who order a certain amount this month. These cute little travel bags, how adorable. So they hold your oils. Um, and then, yeah, I got little things to mail out, like little prizes for people or samples or whatever. They will get a free roller. Look how cute this is. Home! Daddy's home! I'm Cat Noir! Oh boy. Hi! Oh, yeah. favorite show. Will you turn the TV down a little? And he brought us dinner. Dun, 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 dun. That's not it, right? What is it? Red Robin. Yum. That's it. Um, he brought us dinner. You guys, look at this. This is really crazy. Hi. Um, okay, maybe you can't. Can you see that? Do you see this? I am like legit hiving here. I'm pretty sure it's viral. So like the oils that I put on um, Jude are really good at helping rid your body of toxins. Did you know that your skin is the largest organ in your body? And so sometimes when your kidneys and your liver um, cannot process toxins or you know whatever it's trying to, to get rid of, um, the bad stuff, it'll push it out through your skin. Isn't that crazy? Um, so, if your body's like overloaded, your immune system's overloaded, sometimes that's where we see viral hives or things like, um, like eczema is an autoimmune disorder. And so sometimes when your immune system's taxed and your body can't process whatever is triggering your, your, your immune response, it'll push it out through your skin in the form of a rash. So there's a little, uh, Little science lesson for you. Science biology lesson for you, a little health lesson. Anyway, with that, I think that the oils are like causing my, I didn't put them here. It's not like a reaction from the oils. I think it's like literally just my skin is the avenue for whatever is going on. Cause I felt, I told you guys I felt off today. I don't know what's going on. Anyway. I fell off too, it was weird. You I was talking weird. to Mark and I couldn't like explain what I was trying to say. And whenever I was saying things to him, it just was coming out sounding like, as I was saying it, like I was just not under even understanding what I was trying to say. Yeah. 
I, I was think off. that's how I felt. Like I'm trying to talk to you guys and you can tell. I've been like real off. I think we're tired and maybe there's just something going on. I didn't have to do my ninja dog. I drink a ninja. Okay, anyway, we're gonna eat dinner and um, he got home a lot later than I thought. So it's 5.30 now. I'm too dark. It's 5.30 now and we have got Kathy. to get kids fed. Tyler needs to go to bed. This girl's driving me crazy. She's so loud. She's not being loud right now. Not the wood. But she's been like shrieking all day long. Ah! Oh! Ah! 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 That was a close call, guys. Okay, we gotta go, really. <laughs>